and introducing as well as teaching children to do fasting can be challenging for parents as it may affect physical strength and health of their children, right? I don't know for Palm, but for me, it's Pokemon cards and the tickets <laughs> to watch Lakers at the Crypto Center. Oh, what That'll incentive. be for them. <laughs> hey, by the way, I'm going to do a full pass, I think, this year. You're going to take me to Lakers game? <laughs> You're an adult, Pete. All right. And because then, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone has their ways, but the Indonesian Pediatric Society, or known as IDAI, has taken steps in promoting the importance of nutrition and mental preparation for children to help them fast safely. <laughs> The Indonesian Pediatric Society, or IDAI, said in a statement on Thursday's media briefing that there is no official age limit for children who are eligible to do fasting. However, many usually start between the age of 6 or 7. At this age, IDAI said the children are able to make decisions and become confident and independent, though for many, it may require the need of mental preparation. Besides, parental support is also crucial. Experts say children should feel natural when they decide to do fasting. And it is also important for parents to become a good example in this regard. According to the Indonesian Pediatric Society, children have more grown fat compared to adults, which means that they have more fat reserve to be burned into calories. Hence, their endurance for fasting shouldn't be a problem. Yet, it's necessary for parents to pay more attention to nutritional needs of their kids. Experts suggest parents to reduce the amount of sugar and flour-based food, since it may trigger a hunger fast for children. Protein, yang protein kira-kira gampangnya 2 gram per kilogram berat badan. Contoh anak 20 kilo. 20 kilo ya, 20 kilo itu kira-kira umur berapa tadi? 6 tahun ya? Eh, iya, BPB ini ya, 8 tambah 12 ya, 20 kiloan. Karena umur 6 tahun katakanlah uh, 20 kilo, proteinnya dia butuh 40 gram kan? 20 kali 2, 40 gram. Uh, ngitungnya gini, dalam satu butir telur itu mengandung 6 gram protein. Jadi kira-kira kalau protein aja, 40 gram itu berapa ya? Dibagi 6, 6 butir sampai 7 butir. Kalau dia protein aja, eh, telur aja, jadi mungkin pada saat sahur dia eh, dadar telur 3 butir telur gitu ya, pada saat buka nanti 4 butir atau 3 butir. Secara umum eh, puasa nggak bikin anak jadi sakit sebetulnya. Kecuali ya, kecuali misalkan nih, eh, Pada saat hari yang panas terik bukanya dengan es misalkan ya itu kan ya memang salah pola berarti kan e, bukan puasanya ya tapi pola bukanya ya mungkin itu yang jadi bikin nanti jadi selesma ya batuk pilek apa segala macam karena perubahan yang tadinya e, apa nggak ada makanan tiba-tiba minum dengan suhu yang ekstrim gitu ya. Instead, take more fat and animal proteins, such as chicken and vegetables. And don't forget to get enough water as well. Andira Putri for See Today. Yeah, I want to take a moment to share my experiences and perhaps I want to hear yours as well um, in regards to kids fasting because I have an eight-year-old. She did a lot of fasting days last year, but this year she decided I'm going to do full days. And I have to admit, I, kids, have find, I would say, are arguably, can find this a little easier than adults. Mm -hmm, yeah. I don't know what it is, but they just get through the day with a, a, no problem, as long as you find activities for them to do, and right. those activities aren't too tiring. But I noticed one thing, my daughter's losing weight, and she's, it's very difficult to get her to eat during the sahur, which is yes. the pre-dawn meal, because you're waking up at an odd time. For us, it's kind yeah. of, we're kind of used to it, but yeah. for a child... It's even hard for us sometimes, yeah, right? Exactly, right? Yeah. Imagine eating a heavy meal at 3.30 yeah. a.m. And yeah. uh, when they break their fast, because she was still going to school up until today, um, she, they just broke for holidays, it's hard to fit like a lot of calories within that 6 p.m. and like 8 p.m. window, only two hours right. before she goes to bed. Right. That's her bedtime because she has to wake up early for mm -hmm. sour and she doesn't go back to sleep. Yeah. What's your take on this and what do you, how do you get your kids to kind of maintain no, that calorie? I have the similar situation with you because mm. it's very hard for them to eat at sore time. Um, they eat probably like today, 
Uh, I have a six and a nine year old. They own like cereal. I guess okay. it's easier for them to digest sure. the milk and whatnot. And then when they, of course, uh, when it's a break fasting time, they want this and then that. But I see them, they just want little, the sweets. They don't, yeah. They would go for the sweets. <laughs> the body's all the calling way. for it. All right, there we go. Yeah, and then true. it's very hard for them to eat like a dinner meal, right? Because mm. you want them to eat the carbs ah. and protein and whatnot. They I have to sit fast, down yeah. and Yeah. 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 Uh, and, you know, just like uh, Ali, they're getting a little bit skinnier. Yeah. Especially my second born. And I'm like, not in an unhealthy way. Like she, like, she looks good, but yeah, I just, yeah. I noticed there's some yeah, weight. They left. go practice basketball practice mm -hmm. four times a week still during, wow. and they wow. go four o'clock to six so before they break. break. Yeah, Amazing. break fast. So Amazing. I mean, we see that because they yeah. don't eat as much, yeah. and, and for right. lunch they don't eat lunch at all. Then you'll see them a little bit thinning, but yeah, that's, that's part of it. Yeah. And they'll get it all back after yes, about it. What, what about you? Did you? Uh, what age did you start fasting at? I first started. Uh, I was in. Before I went to elementary. Okay. Oh, wow. That was That's the really first early. time. I think I was like six. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I uh, complete the whole Ramadan. Wow, complete. Yeah, did you, for me, nice. did you, did you, you run hard. into the same difficulties of you get filled definitely, up really fast? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, uh, I remember uh, during Sahur, yeah. uh, the, the pre dawn meal, that's uh, the hardest part, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yes. to get to eat the whole plate of <laughs> things. What I wanted to get was at that time was cheeseburger. Right. Uh, the easiest. Yeah. yeah. Mac and cheese, you know? Yeah, yes. Kind of the fun uh, stuff. You but mom's like, nah, eat the rice. Yeah. Eat well, the rice uh, my, my last bit of advice would be get the good calories in first. Get them the healthy stuff yeah. in first. And then I Should let my like kids that. have the sweet stuff afterwards right. to fill up. They right. always go for that anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>